Hey guys, welcome back to the only video on YouTube where by watching this, you get a healthy balanced breakfast. This video is fortified with vitamins A, B, D, and E. It's, it's good, good for your bones. bones. Trum Trum has a new challenger in the world of weird, colorful, vaguely life hack inspired, made for children, vignette based comedy video space. I think I got everything. And that is Woohoo. You may remember Trum Trum from a previous video on this channel where I recreated some of their life hacks. Where's my portable sandwich butter? Okay. I think there was still glue on this. Well, now there's a new channel coming for Troom Troom's Throne. I can't seem to find anything that outright confirms they're the, owned by the same company, but it seems like they use a lot of the same sets, or at least ideas for sets. They use a lot of the same actors. They even share the same narrator for some of the videos. I look like a million bucks. A gold business card, diamond water. The thing is, Woohoo's videos are basically the same as Troom Troom's, just they don't tend to shoo in some bad life hack. And for me, that's really disappointing. I come to this content to see them hot glue some aluminum foil to a balloon and shove it in a microwave. Life hack. Also, I want to shout out my friend Chris James. Uh, he just recently put out a video covering Troom Troom and what they've been up to lately, and it's a really good one. Uh, if you aren't already following Chris, I highly recommend him. We make pretty similar content, so if you like me, you're bound to like him as well. Uh, he's honestly one of the funniest people I've found on YouTube. So let's all get over there and kick his channel's ass. I'm talking donkey kick that subscribe button, kidney punch that comment section. I want you to reverse like choke that. slam reverse on that like button. Slam. But back to Woohoo. Let's see what this channel has to offer. While I was doing some research trying to figure out what this channel was all about, I went to their Instagram page, which is functionally the same as their YouTube channel, just the videos don't have any narration whatsoever, so it's incredibly hard to understand what's happening. Like in this one called a Hot vs. Cold Challenge, Boy on Fire vs. Icy Boy. Is Woohoo going to set a boy on fire? Okay, so it's two men who seem to only speak in grunts taking this woman out to lunch. I think this guy's supposed to be the boy on fire because he takes her plums and cooks them in his oven hands? Is that a superpower? Uh, there's another video called 12 Spooky Halloween Prank Wars, Scary Students Pranks on Teacher, which is just absolutely a lie because this video they have here is less than a minute long and only features one thing that might be considered a prank. You don't realize how much work the narrator is putting in for these videos until you watch a video without a narrator because I have no idea what's happening here. It seems like a teacher is yelling at her students uh, and then they put one of the kids in a coffin and have her eat an apple? Is that scary? Is that even a prank? Where'd they get the coffin from? Also, what's going on with these hats? These are some Ebenezer Scrooge ass nightcaps. Let's go back to the YouTube channel and see if we can figure out anything. Uh, let's watch this video called Dating Two Girls. Funny situations. Nothing says comedy like betraying the trust of your significant other. I broke the trust of the only person to ever show me love and affection and then slipped on a banana peel. What a funny situation. This is Archie, the hottest bartender in town. Dad! I'm fine. The bartender huh? can back me up. Yes. Y'all ever been out to the bar and your daddy calls you on your telephone and demands to speak with the bartender? That's a normal thing, right? Your daddy's just worried about you and needs to verify your safety with strangers. Cool. Cool. Definitely normal. So many interactions and things that go on in these videos feel so off that it seems like the actors just kind of improv their way through scenes and the narrator and editor have to kind of piece together some sort of narrative. And two ice cubes, please. Take a third one on me. Archie, I know you're the bartender and all, and I don't want to come off like I know more than you, but you just grabbed ice with your bare, dirty ass hand and dropped it in someone's drink. What are you gonna do next? Stick your dirty little finger in there and give it a little stir? Toss the drink back and swish it around in your mouth to really mix it up? That's highly unsanitary and not the slightest bit flirtatious at all. I wouldn't even be able to think about the winky come on he did there because I'd be too busy worrying I'm gonna catch something. It's Rona season, bud. So the next girl shows up and I'm gonna take a wild guess and assume this is the girl that Archie's also going to date. I again have to question his abilities as a bartender because it seems like he's just making it up as he goes. Also has an uncomfortable amount of pre-made drinks that he just pulls out from under the bar. What's going on down there, man? Ooh. Here's an extra lemon on the house, miss. 
Yeah, buddy, just squeeze a whole lemon into my gin and tonic. That'll make it extra yummy. See you, Archie. A movie at six o'clock. Oh, is that a little bit of foreshadowing there? I believe we call that a Chekhov's boxing glove. <laughs> Can I hear that again? Yeah. Yeah. I just want to know, just kind of a general survey of you, the viewer. Is it normal to get full-on glamour shots with your lovely daddy? And then also using a 6x8 printed out copy of that photo to set up a date with a bartender? Might just not want to pursue that love interest, you know? But we all know what our guy Archie's going to do. We've already read the title of the video. I also don't think that's how people set up dates nowadays. Usually it seems like it's a, an exchange of phone numbers, you chat for a little bit. Then you arrange a date and time that seems to work for both of you. You don't just say, be here at 6 p.m. What if they already had plans? Hey, Grandma, I know I said I'd come by and help you set up that chairlift to get you to the second floor so you could finally sleep in your bedroom again, but some girl told me I have to go to the movies with her at 6 p.m. You cool with sleeping on the couch again tonight? Mm. See you soon, handsome. Oh no, the two girls set a date at the exact same time. Which one should I choose? But why choose when I can go on two dates at once? But why choose? Because your life would be so much easier. Archie, my man, you don't really have a reason to go on both dates. Just reschedule. So our protagonist decides against all better judgment to try and go on both dates at the same time. Why anyone would do this, I have no idea. We are in a hurry. Let us through. Where are you going? To get popcorn, since you're spilled. Here he is. Sorry, I'm late. So I'm gonna guess that the Woohoo universe somehow exists in this post-apocalyptic doomsday fallout shelter kind of thing, where everything is very close location-wise and looks almost indistinguishable. Because the bar looks like the movie theater, which also looks like the cafe, and the restaurant they go to, and Archie seems to be able to get between all of these locations very quickly. What kind of alternate doomsday reality are these people living in? That would explain the bizarre way these characters all interact and behave, and the strange desire they have to build life hacks for seemingly ordinary things. Oops, awkward. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'll borrow this. Thanks. Hey! Can we talk about the movie posters in this theater for a moment? Some of them are just real posters, but then you have a woohoo story, uh, which is based on 2017's A Ghost Story. You know, the movie where Rooney Mara eats a whole pie for four minutes and then pukes. <laughs> what an odd movie to be like, this one. This is the one we'll make a, a, a silly little pun out of. Did 47 woohoos down not work or uh, woohoo 3D? So Archie's able to make it through both dates with neither of the girls any wiser. But oh no, our pal's got himself into an even worse pickle. It's both of the girls' birthdays, which the likelihood of that happening seems so incredibly far-fetched. But I mean, both girls pulled the same weird be at this location at 6 p.m. kind of thing, so maybe they're just long lost biological twins. I bought an iPhone for each of my girlfriends. It's a great gift. You went on one date with both of these girls. Maybe hold off on buying a thousand dollar gift, you know, for each of them. These phones are for me? You couldn't pick a color? That's so sweet. I'll take both. Okay, cool. That's very normal. This girl just has a collection of burner iPhones. What is she running? Some sort of clandestine candy running operation? Because a stupid amount of their videos are about sneaking candy into movie theaters? Where's my present? I want a surprise. Goodbye, phone. I'll always remember you. Oh, a phone just like yours. Thanks for the present. Wouldn't she know it's his phone though? Like it's loaded with photos and his contacts and his emails. Also, I have no idea what's going on in this next segment. Clear, 
The security dude waves a metal detector around that somehow detects kisses, and he doesn't seem to mind that two show up on his face? What kind of technology is that? And why was he checking the bar for kisses? Also, that doesn't even matter because the girl can totally see the lipstick on Archie's collar. But I guess Archie doesn't get caught because he covers for it by saying he's a clown? So, crisis averted? Have a part-time job <laughs> as a clown. Want a balloon? <sighs> have a party every day! I'm sorry, what does that have to do with anything? Have a party every day! Have a party every day? That's not even a joke based on anything that happened in the scene. The narrator just decided to toss that sentence out into the void. Okay, so Archie finally meets one of the girl's dads, and he's doing extremely normal dad things. I'm on a walk with Archie! Yeah! Wanna say hi? I can't wait till I have a daughter and I can print out a photo of her and print out a photo of her boyfriend and then pretend to make him kiss. Fatherhood. So Archie is tired of dating both of these girls, so he's got to come up with some plan to get him to break up with him. He does this by breaking one of the girl's iPhones, which was destined to fail because he gave her two phones. Oops, I dropped it. You are so funny. Martin, new phone. Waiter. Give us- Hold up. Is that a Trim Trim apron? Is this a Cinematic Universe crossover? Was that a little Easter egg, a little wink at the camera letting us know? Have the DC and Marvel of YouTube finally decided to do a meetup? Or that just confirms that Woohoo is another one of those sister channels in the giant Trim Trim universe. But back to the story, after breaking her phone and ordering a bunch of really expensive items on the menu, uh, he decides the only thing he can do is try to convince her he's crazy, and he does that by doing this. Plan C! Hmm. Don't look back! Ashley, I'm a terrible person! I'm crazy! Look at me! <laughs> because that is an accurate representation of someone who's crazy and not just a poor attempt at physical comedy. Uh, Archie ends up coming clean to both girls and they end up just becoming friends and ditching Archie. So I guess you could say that's some real, uh, funny situations. Uh, that's gonna wrap up this week's video. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on the Troom Troom Woohoo universe. Is this the future of YouTube? Just giant tentacle monster content farms creating the same literal carbon copy type of content? Feel free to like the video and subscribe if you're new here. Maybe click that share button and share it with your friends or one of the two new girls you started dating. Get their thoughts on it. Uh, check the description for links to my Twitter, Instagram, Twitch channel, Discord, all that good stuff, it's right down there. But until next time, catch you later. Lightback.